why actually, you know, in the uh, in the place which is very important, we used to say that event is our heart, right? KL is our brain. Okay? So I think you have to really get it working. And so we have to set up a system. So please discuss about this. Yeah? Okay. Any more? Any more questions? Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't think so. You know, even with this party, if there is a president or we need a free to pay. Right? So I, I, I personally feel that it is not a correct move. Okay? Especially since you know, the DM has told us that he was offered uh, uh, an important role you know, to, to be uh, in charge of the Special envoy, a special representative of Malaysia in this um, Brunei Indonesia Malaysia Philippine uh, growth area, dealing with cross border trade, tourism, as well as cross border issues like immigration. And this is a major topic that you know, Sabah has a complaint about the illegal immigrants. You know? So he should actually take up this challenge. And uh, he should have taken up the challenge and said, okay, that is what can be done, right? But in my opinion, he's too impatient, right? Because he actually gave the Prime Minister August until August. He's inviting for more. But this is June and April. No, but I think the way to do this is wrong already. But maybe he has a big offer from the other side. I know sure. Okay? In that case, Mr. President, what he means is that. And what Ibrahim September the 16th will not mean anything at all because if there is no effect of him crossing over and other follow, I don't think so. There is going to be a, a, a no show on come September. Well, I would be very doubtful about yeah. this, okay? And also, I think it's not right to do so, okay? Because the people of Malaysia have voted, just voted, right? So it reminded me of what happened in 1999 when. You know, the two limbs from Rakan who flew over and trying to you know, take over to the end ship. You know, that's wrong. People have already voted and decided. So let the government, you know, of the day, either federal or state level, let them do the work. Okay? The most that we can do is to criticize, right? But not to double tax, not to pull them down, not to pull the members over. I mean, we could have done this in Terra, right? I think three members rather than 30. So I think it's not correct, right? Now, even if you can pull over 40, it will be a very unstable government, right? And it becomes a, part, a government of only stuff of war, you know, right? So this, today you pull over 40, tomorrow you pull over 20, you know? What is this? Changing of the guard? I mean, it's not government, it's not governing, right? So I would say that this, I would challenge the pa Pakistan Rakyat. Do a good job in the five government, the state government, okay? Right? If they do a good job, then the next round, people can say, hey, this is a good party, you know? Right? But I would tell them, please resolve the conflict between DAC and PAS first, okay? Please resolve, please form a, a, a coalition that is it's more solid and valid than the you know, then people will have trust in you. Okay? So, perform first. Govern and perform. Alright? Then, talk about. Once before you get started, you talk about other things, right? Okay? So, it's not really people's in my opinion. And it's not correct. It's against the democracy, the principle of the parliamentary democracy. Parliamentary people vote. Then after voting, you ask people to jump, right? Then you should go and vote again, I mean. But you cannot, you cannot just say because people jump, then immediately you have to call the election. It's also wrong, right? I mean, I want to ask you a question. In fact, I guess today I asked the journalist, right? I said, would you agree if the Barisan would pull over three members in Terra and topple the Terra government? No, oh, then you know it's not right. Then how come you would be for I'm not to pull over 30? <laughs> <laughs>